Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout between Waldo Cortez Acosta versus Lucas Brzezinski. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence um Waldo Cortez Acosta. I do not agree with the odds at all. Like the odds are stupid. Like he don't Waldo Cortez Acosta does, does not deserve that value that he's at right now. Like you act like the odds they got him at is acting like he's some future star or something some future this future that or has proven to be that i mean anybody could be this anybody could be that like some guy could be looking like he's not this then two years three years down the line he goes from being looking like a future journeyman to being a future champion but again it goes based it should go based off like what have you done anything to actually propel you to be to that status and he has not especially coming off loss now like he should not be on it if anything he's looking like another justin ledette type of fighter another um yeah right now he it is but yeah, we'll see. We'll see for sure. We'll see. But um, yeah, going here with um Lucas Brzezinski. Ultimately, I'm going Walter Cortez Acosta. I started to see what people were saying about Lucas Brzezinski. Like, you know, I was like, what are you talking about cardio? We talking about this one? Like, he he blew up like a hundred significant strikes. He uh, he like he doubled um, uh, what's his name? What's that dude name he fought last? But he doubled um his opponent like two to one in strikes, and he got robbed of a decision. You watch the fight, you can see why he lost. Even though he doubled him in strikes, and if you're talking about cardio this, cardio that, uh, nice. I see why. Like, despite, you know, you can have an empty gas thing and still do a bunch of strikes, but how much, uh, um, is there any, um, power behind him? Like, you're doing arm punches, and that's what he was doing, essentially, you know, later rounds. Still drove a lot of strikes, still was there, but the power had left really after the first round, or three minutes, four minutes. And I see that's what people were talking about. I thought they were talking about like a case of like he was gassed out, breathing heavy, and wasn't active. He was active, but nothing behind those punches. And yeah, I think Walter Cortez Acosta can, you know, carry Perry. I said Perry. Carry power through 15 minutes where I don't think um, Brzezinski can. But obviously, I'm not going super high confidence in nothing in this right now. Because who is Walter Cortez Acosta? He's no one right now. He's a solid fighter and whatnot. Well, he's an okay fighter. They're both okay fighters. But yeah, I think he's going to go 15 minutes better. Or and especially the biggest one, he can carry power. Brzezinski can throw two thousand strikes probably. I'm exaggerating, but how many of them will have power and what it's going to look like beyond the first five minutes? I don't know. But first five minutes, he could look pretty decent. But I think wearing, uh, I think Walter Cortez Acosta will be the standing beyond that first five minutes. It didn't start to stalk and walk him down. He just throwing arm punches, hands super low. And then Walter Cortez Acosta will be able to tack him to the body, tack him to the leg. It really be the final shots up top, and I think this will be his first stoppage inside the UFC. Not in the contender series, but inside the UFC. I think he'll be able to exploit the fact that his hands are low. He is tired, and he is kind of just moving straight back a lot of times, and hands are very low. I think Walter Cortez Acosta will be able to sit on the shots and be able to find them and be able to put away Lucas Brzezinski in the second round. So in this one, I have Walter Cortez Acosta via second round TKO.